to see you too. Well, that was a lovely trip down memory lane I know, for us. I was watching that. Oh What's God. it like for you? Do, you? do you like watching things like this? Um, it's so surreal, especially when I see, like, the first auditions and, and things like that. It's like, oh, my gosh, it's like... I'm like such a baby then. <laughs> and do you still, you know, even hearing that music, do, do you still feel those nerves that you felt takes you back? Yeah, I mean, it was such a, a beautiful, I guess, moment in time for me. Um, and just, yeah, hearing all the songs that, like, encapsulate that time yeah. is just really special for me. And I also get to, you know, go on tour and sing those songs. Mm. And it's, yeah, just very special, really special. But, but music for all of us, it transports us back yeah, so it, quickly to Exactly. Times, There's those it? songs that, like, yeah. are so significant yeah. to you mm. and just, like, you ha actually have, like, a physical feeling. It gave mm. me goosebumps just hearing the, those songs. Oh, yeah. yeah, they have such powerful lyrics. And here you Thank are, you. 17 years later. I can't believe that's 17 years. Oh, and a new mum. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. So your, your little girl, she's called Carmel Allegra, yeah. but you call her Coco. Yeah, her um, nickname's Coco. So in my family, I was Lulu when I was growing up, so we give all of the kids the nicknames. Oh. Yeah. yeah. There's oh, your lovely look. husband, Dennis. Little oh, Coco look, she's gorgeous. I mean, it's wonderful now, but a very difficult pregnancy from everything I've read. Yeah, it was a really hard pregnancy. So I was one of the... Um, I think it's, like, 30% of women that basically have morning sickness until you give birth basically oh, no. so it was yeah it was I was sick every single day and at one point I was like bedridden um but Dennis my husband was amazing he looked after me took care of me made sure I was taken care of and my mum was crucial at, at that point as well but yeah it wasn't like one of those pregnancies where I was like oh this is amazing mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. especially on your first was... pregnancy because you read what it should be like yeah and you have this idea and in your head and you see the woman going oh yeah I'm yeah. fine yeah and feel a bit cheated then do you know what um <laughs> I I think that I, I remember someone coming up to me and being like oh but your pregnancy looked so nice when I saw like your pictures on Instagram mm. and stuff and I I remember sometimes you know when we look at these pictures and things where Sometimes not putting out, like, the truth of mm. really what's going on is, mm. is sometimes a bit hard to convey. But I think um, you've been very honest, though, because you've talked about, like, postpartum anxiety. Yeah. Um, and that's not easy. And I feel like, you know, anxiety is something that you have to sort of manage and it's, it's, it doesn't just go away, does yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. And, and I think that kind of made me way more aware to be um, even more, like, to speak about it and mm. be upfront because I think at the time... So when I had my baby, I got um, a bit of postpartum anxiety anxiety which is like this intense worry about the baby or the baby's health and it kind of starts to take over like everyday living so like talking about it really helped because <coughs> it made me feel way less alone yeah. I know that a lot of women go through it but at first you're kind of feeling like the only, like, the only one. Yeah. Like, yeah. What yeah. is this normal? But lonely. it is. Yeah. But it, but it is normal and, and normalised talking about it. Are they, are they coping strategies <laughs> for reducing it you know, yeah. are there little tricks that you could pass on? So, for me, really talking to my other friends um, in my friend circles, other mums that have gone through it was really, really helpful. Um, and also kind of taking a second to, like, breathe and ground myself. Um, I spoke to a counsellor a couple of times as well who just gave me advice and made me feel like, OK, this is not something that's just you're going through. A lot of people go through it. Yeah. Um, and how long did that last for, that feeling? A few months. Did it? Yeah, yeah, a few months. So it was, it was a hard few months, but... but... Like you said, it's hard to judge, isn't it, that most new mums are anxious, like, mm. will I be able to do this? Is the baby OK? Yeah. But it's when it goes to that next level, it's exactly. really impacting your life. It got just a bit too, yeah. too much. Um, but now, now all my hormones have balanced out and I'm sleeping, <laughs> the baby's sleeping. <laughs> Would it make you nervous <sighs> about having more? Um, no, because I understand what it is, it is. and I and understand it that it's just mean a... You would get it again. Exactly. Yeah. I, it, it, every pregnancy is so different. Yeah. You know, a lot of my friends have multiple um, children and each pregnancy has been so different. Yeah. So, yeah, so I, I know that I have a, an amazing support network around me that really helped me as well. Yeah. So, well, so it's, that it's wonderful confidence. that you did talk about it and you talk about it so openly because it helps so many yeah, people. Yeah, I, I really um, hope it does. And also, you've been very busy. Um, you've, you've sung this theme song to a new series called Jane. Yeah. And this is about somebody who's very inspirational to you. Tell us about Jane. Yeah, so the um, series is based on Jane Goodall, who's an amazing environmentalist, and 
she um, builds awareness about endangered species. And so I've had a lot of children's projects come to me and this is one that I just love because it's like live action, it's animation, it's about this little girl who's like the hero of it, which I love as well, because I've That's got cool. a little girl. Yeah. So it's something that I would want her to watch. Um, and I recorded the song um, that was written by Diane Warren and I just love oh, the song. Yeah, it's called right. One Step Closer. So. Um, and then you've teamed up with the new king, King Charles. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, ooh, his, <laughs> his foundation basically put into place uh, this pledge for big companies to sign and pledge that they'll be more um, environmentally friendly um, with their practices. And they basically made a children's um, little book, and I narrated it, um, about different environmental issues and how we can do our part to just um, be more in line with nature, people, the planet, and help each other to just thrive. So I narrated that book. It was so busy. And then doing a Christmas tour oh, in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then to add on top... Yeah, I'm, I'm touring at Christmas, which I'm really, really excited about. It's my favourite time of year, especially since my little one. Mm. Um, and, yeah, it's just going to be... I'm going to sing Christmas, Christmas songs. songs. I'm going to sing some oh, of my songs. It's my favourite and... time of year. I love yeah, it. Yeah, I just want to, you know, Do bring you a bit... Do you think she'll come of... along and watch you? Oh, please, no, you're yeah. you're your daughter, not <laughs> oh, <please. laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm Let's on stage with me. Oh, I'll definitely be there. Yeah, yeah, Colleen yeah. and Coco, they yeah. can come yeah. together. Yeah, I'm going to bring Coco. She's going to yeah. come on the road, so yeah. we'll see how that goes. Uh, well, <laughs> tickets, tickets for the owners at uh, UK Christmas <laughs> Tour are available now. It's lovely to see you. Oh, so good to see you. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, thank, thank you very so much. Rihanna Lewis, everybody.